All right, I just captured some really good video of your downspouts during a thunderstorm. It's everything that we've taught you guys, everything we try to teach you on this channel. I'm going to go to that right now and show you what you're looking at as far as pounds per square inch. Pounds per square inch, guys, that's PSI. When you have a hard rain and you have a volume of water coming down a downspout, it's a gravity-driven system, guys. It falls off the roof, and it comes just shooting out like it's shot from a fire hose. But I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to take you to that footage. And I'm going to show you why corrugated pipe rules. We always talk about the PVC pipe, and it's cracking. The fact that you have to have a lot of uh, glue joints. I replace PVC pipe all the time. I'm going to start showing you guys more videos of that. But I like a one-piece corrugated pipe. From the downspout all the way to the pop-up, if I can do that, with no fittings in between. That's what I like. And I'm going to take you to that footage right now so you can kind of see what your downspout looks like when you don't run it away from the house. So think about it. The people that say, I don't want to bury my downspouts. I'm worried that they're going to freeze in the winter. Well, I'd be worried about flooding your basement or your crawl space. Take a look at this. All right, so we have water coming off the rooftop. The water is falling. It's falling and picking up speed. Now, when you increase the amount of water that's in your downspout, there is resistance. This resistance causes it to pick up speed. You end up with a higher velocity. There's a lot of misconceptions about how this works, but you can just see the pressure you could just see the force that the water's coming off the roof shooting out of the downspout it's a thunderstorm you know we have you know many each year and these thunderstorms they're the ones that clean out a downspout system they'll clean out an underground downspout system so this is a good example why you don't want to just have your downspout dumping water next to your foundation. It doesn't matter if you have a crawl space or a basement. This is how you end up with water in your crawl space or water in your basement. Now, the water's coming down this downspout, and because it's a thunderstorm and you have a high volume of water and it's shooting out with such force, such velocity, you have this pounds per square inch. When it comes out, it's just hitting the ground, and it's literally moving the stone in the landscape over here. So this is a great example of a thunderstorm or any type of rain event. If you're in the tropical climates, you have tropical storms. So look at this. Look at the pressure. Look at the... I mean, this is just a great example. So when people tell me, Oh, shingle gravel and leaves are going to get caught in downspout, you know, that's made out of corrugated pipe. You know, I have to listen to this all the time, and I'm sorry, but I just roll my eyes and I laugh. There's nothing more I can do. I mean, I've shown you guys so much, but I talk about it all the time. So you have corrugated pipe, you have the ridges. That creates resistance. What happens is the water builds up pressure. It builds up force. It builds up pounds per square inch, PSI. It blows all the shingle gravel and leaves out during any heavy rain like this. And that's why I tell you the turbulence that's caused by those ridges in corrugated pipe, that's why I tell you that corrugated pipe is self-cleaning. Now I've seen PVC pipe with its joints and people are gluing these 90s and these 60s and these 45 degree and we have all these glue joints that come apart and then the, the roots get in and dirt gets in and when it cracks, dirt falls in. Well, it doesn't build up the force, the pounds per square inch that corrugated pipe does because it's smooth on the bottom. So you're not gonna flush all that dirt out. You're not gonna flush out all that shingle gravel. Again, it's great in theory and there's this huge misconception, but there's a reason why 
We have downspouts that we put in 35 years ago working as good as the day we installed them. So I'm going to take you to another downspout and show you a little bit more. This house had six downspouts and I was able to capture, you know, a couple hard rains through this same thunderstorm at the same residence. So I'm going to take you to that so that you can, uh, so that you can, you can really see, you know, exactly what I'm talking about, is about the force, you know, the way the water really just comes flying off the roof. So here, take a look at this flow right now. So we don't have as much water coming down the downspout. Do you see how we're not, you know, we don't have that fire hose effect. We don't have as much water. People want to tell me all the time how there's drag and there's resistance in a downspout. Absolutely. You know, I study, you know, hydrodynamics as well, okay? I understand, you know, how the fluids work. But I'm telling you, when you get a hard rain and you have a volume of water, how that changes, how that changes in pounds per square inch, how that changes in force, how it changes in velocity. The water just is sailing out of these downspouts and through the underground system as well. So again, some, some huge misconceptions. You know, when you create restriction like that, when you have more water trying to find its way through the same size downspout, you just end up with more pounds per square inch. When more water has to go through the same opening, it'll flow faster. It actually picks up speed. And again, that's, you know, hydrodynamics. We're not going to get all geeky. We're not going to, you know, get into that. We're not going to go down that well. This is the wrong channel. I keep things simple. I just try to show you guys. I just try to give you guys something to think about and i know everybody says seeing is believing so look at how this water is picking up again and it is just pounding the decorative rock it's moving the decorative rock you can see the fabric underneath the decorative stone i mean so with that kind of force when you're moving one inch rock decorative stone there's nothing that big or heavy in corrugated pipe so on the discharge end, after you know a good thunderstorm like this, I can walk around the house and there's leaves and there's shingle gravel and whatever happened to have been in that corrugated pipe is now in the grass. You can just see that it was blown out in the grass. Now, a thunderstorm like this will clean any basin, any outlet basin. It'll just blow all the debris right out into the lawn. It'll blow the lid right off of it. If you don't have the lid screwed down, if it's just a six inch speedy basin, it's gonna blow that lid, which is no big deal as long as you catch it before your lawn crew comes and chops it up. But you can just see the amount of force. You can see just the decorative rock all piled up and how this just you know, pounded the decorative stone until there's this small, you know, crater in the decorative stone. And it's moving one inch round rock. So that's pretty impressive. All right, so I'm going to use my hand to create restriction. And I want you guys to pay attention to the spray of the water, the pressure of the water, how far the water shoots out into the decorative rock. This is no different than when you're watering your lawn and you don't have a spray nozzle on the hose. So you put your thumb on it to build up resistance and then the water builds up pressure and it sprays out the distance that you want it to. So I'm going to do that to this downspout, and I'm going to show you what it does. This is the reality. This is not theory. This is no longer something that we can sit here and debate. I'm, I'm going to show you right now what it does. 
and it'll be easy for you to see and this will really help all my subscribers with the understanding to how these downspouts function how these downspouts work and why I love corrugated pipe and every time I hear about the resistance you know I'm just rolling my eyes because I want the resistance that's how I'm going to get the turbulence that's how I'm going to get the corrugated pipe to build up pressure build up PSI and whether it's clearing out leaves shingle gravel or blowing the grass that grew over the end where it daylights it does all of that doesn't show how important it is to run your downspouts away from your house I guess nothing will and as far as corrugated pipe and all the different theories and this it proved exactly what we always tell you and what I know when you have a hard rain the turbulence that corrugated pipe causes just like when I stuck my hand in the water there and you see it just spray it was just insane. I mean, the pounds per square inch, the turbulence. On the discharge end of any downspout during a rain like, a rain like that, I mean, you just have leaves, shingle gravel, everything. It just ends up in the lawn on the discharge end. You know, I see it all the time, you know, in the business. So, in any case, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. But, you know, this was just a, just a thunderstorm, you know. We get many of them every year. And those are the storms that literally let corrugated pipe, you know, just all that turbulence it causes, it just cleans. It just, the water runs through there with so much force, the pounds per square inch just blow any collected debris right out. It's everything that we try to teach you guys here on the French Drayman channel. All right, everybody, until the next video.